In this video, I will run through distribution board component of the construction tab. Press home, new, and open a new project. And I will typically use TPNN board. I will place it there. Let's just put a couple. Okay, escape. Now I need cable to join them. You can see the red and blue axis. That means, let's try to zoom in. That means that this board is not connected. It don't have a supply. And that means it, it does not have outgoing ways. So you need a cable now. Select the cable from the cable group. Because I've got three-phase system, I'm going to select three-phase cable. It will snap to the cross. And I'm just going to drag the cable from source to the switchboard and then from the switchboard to distribution board and then from switchboard to distribution board and escape. So once you select an option, it stays active until you uh, remove the selection. As you can see, my custom numbering is applied. You can manually change it. I'm going to keep it as it is. Now let's look at the distribution board in more detail. Once you've got your distribution board added, double click on it. If you have distribution board template set and you created project from project template, certain settings will be already there automatically. If not, you can enter them here at this point. Starting from a distribution board name, I generally go for the non-standard, and although in this case I would still call it DB1, let's say to make a difference, I call it DB1 without dash. That's my preference. Board details uh, typically is three-phase, but you can create single-phase board out of that three-phase board if you wanted to, and then select what phase you want. Let's go for three-phase in this case. When you change to one phase, the method of wiring is also updating automatically. Going back phase number of ways in here where you can set number of ways you want and let's leave it 24 and then whatever rating of the distribution board if it is 160 or 125 but i think 160 is typical and typically the disboards are 25 ka and a typical function is lighting and power but it might be power maybe external lighting whatever so just enter that there location if you know it and the model number if you know it. Now, protection. Typically, the distribution boards will have isolating switch, not a protected device, and then rated 160 amp. Default protected device. This is inherited from my template, which in this case is Schneider Acti 9 MCD. And the rating is alter at the moment, but I will be changing it to a specific rating. Board loading method will be detailed design load, but you can also use estimated load. When I build my system, I may have typical floor built in detail with final circuits, and then I will use the load from a level one and apply into level two as estimated load. So you select estimated load, typically used by load category, click that. And then you need to add categories. So I would typically add lighting, then I would add power, and if you want, maybe mechanical power, whatever you prefer. And then just type in, let's say lighting power factor would be 0.97, small power will be say 0.9, and maybe mechanical power will be 0 0.89. And then add load as required in amps. So whatever, let's say lighting 18 amps, power 80. Mechanical power, maybe 70. That's probably over the top, so change it to 54. The estimate needs to be based on something which you can then cross reference so you can prove and demonstrate to the consultant or the client how you actually derive that figure. Yeah, and I always leave the maximum demand threshold as 100%. I always leave earthing as it is, supply set to source. Display results I already have enabled because of my template settings. And that's it, really. That's all the details of the distribution board. Thank you very much for watching.